hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i will uh, talk to you about the ldx video update which uh, is a model that allows you to create video from text image but also video uh, this model came up in a while now but a new update was released which uh, is uh, more consistent and uh, has better quality but also it is very suitable for low vram usage so today i will try to present you my workflow that allows you to do all those uh, video generation using uh, a text an image or uh, a video so if you want to create video like uh, those one i will guide you step by step and show you how you can do it very easily okay if you head over to their hacking face uh, link you can clearly see the example that you can generate using this model as you can see it is very uh, impressive and very consistent so this model came up uh, in a while now but uh, this new update is very uh, interesting since it is only waiting uh, 5.7 uh, gigabyte instead of 9 which is very important but also has low vram consumption in addition to that this taken into consideration the new spatial temporal skip guidance which i will show you here on this link you can clearly see the difference between the cfg and the stg and we can see that the STG can give us better quality, but also has better prompt comprehensions. For example, if you take uh, this video, the first video, you can clearly see the movement are very consistent. For the second example, we can see the smoke, it has very realistic uh, diffusion. And for the third one, we also have better details on the castle here and better movement quality for the second example so you can clearly see the difference between the cfg and the stg here we have the whale which is very consistent however here we have uh, the whale that can uh, morph into uh, some water uh, effect the same thing here for this dog driving a bicycle you can clearly see the difference in the movement here between the cfg and the stg and for the third one which it is uh, very clear that the stg uh, has better video generation here for this uh, prompt so the spatial temporal guidance is very important uh, tool for uh, video generation here we have another results of this uh, stg uh, tool and you can clearly see that the image quality seems uh, very important for the stg compared to this cfg so now let's jump into the workflow but first of all, you need to download this model and make sure to copy this model under under a comfy wireout folder under model, search for checkpoint. And here you can paste your model. Make sure to delete uh, the old one since it has a higher weight. Okay, if you want to get uh, more information about LTX uh, installation, I suggest you to watch my first video that I did uh, about this LTX video notes. Also, don't forget to update your Comfy UI and uh, update uh, all in order for you to use this workflow more easily. And for those of you who don't have some uh, notes of mine using my workflow, I suggest you to go into Comfy UI Manager and click install missing custom notes this way you will have everything that you're gonna need in order for you to use my workflow okay now that we have everything that uh, we need let me show you a quick overview on my workflow first of all we have this ltx video stg text to video this is the first group which has uh, this ltx video model group and the clip text group as you can see here i have this fast group bypasser let me first enable it and here we have everything related to this STG uh, tool that will allow us to create more consistent video. We have this get model here. Then the LTX model is gonna be plugged in this LTX apply perturbed attention, which has also this LTX attention override. This uh, note is very important since it uh, it is the main uh, parameters that allows us to create consistency in our video. We also have our LTX video conditioning, our key sampler, and in this empty LTX latent video, where we can set the height and width of our video, but also the length. By default, it is set to those numbers, but I don't uh, suggest you to change it, since uh, if you have a low VRAM, it's gonna consume more VRAM when you increase the length, but also the resolution of your video. For my case, with my 6 GB uh, RTX 3060, I was able to create video in a short amount of time. 
so if you increase uh, those value or change it, it it will take you longer but also you may run out of vram so it's up to your pc configuration now we also have this ltx video scheduler where you can we can set the steps the max shift and the base shift i did uh, not uh, play with those parameters i uh, so leave them as it is however you can try to increase the steps if you want to have more consistency it's gonna also take you longer but uh, the the default value is very uh, suitable for uh, video creation the cfg is set to 5 and uh, here we have the control after generate is fixed but also the noise seed is fixed is equal to 0 which is a constant value then our video is gonna be decoded and combined with this video combined let me show you a quick example uh, using this uh, text to video first of all you need to plug this latent here in order for you to use this text to video second latent is uh, for uh, the image to video so don't bother yourself with it now and here we have our clip text i used this uh, prompt here you can find all of my used prompt on this uh, group then i click q prompt okay after clicking q prompt we have our first video and it took me a long five minutes in order to render this video however as you can see here the resolution is very low so to fix that i also added my upscaling group which is a series of custom uh, nodes that allows you to take uh, your generated video and upscale it automatically to do that i am using uh, this get video in order to obtain the generated video then we have our model as you can see here i am using uh, as always the ultra sharp model but you can use different model then we're gonna use uh, some notes in order to get the high end width of the video after that this uh, resolution is gonna be upscaled by a factor of two you can of course increase the factor to three or four it depends on uh, what you need and here we have our fps uh, for the upscaling it is set to 24 uh, as default it is the same uh, value as uh, the generated uh, uh, video group and here we have our video combine here i also add a video combine with comparison video in order for you to see the difference between uh, the upscaled version and the low resolution version now that we are uh, finished with this group we also have our frame interpolation group you can also activate it here it's gonna take into consideration this video generated and it's gonna add some frame uh, between the video which gonna result in higher video time so for uh, let me show you my results for the upscaling and the generation as you can see the generation took uh, only five minutes and for the upscaling uh, of uh, with the factor of two times it took me around seven minutes so we can say that it is very fast compared to honey one which took me around 35 minutes and sometimes it also took 14 minutes in order to create a video and upscale it using the same notes so that's a good point for this ltx video in addition to that it it uses less vram and uh, i uh, i don't run out of memory like encountered this uh, with the honey one uh, models so i strongly suggest you to use this ltx for now okay now let me show you how you can do uh, image to video using this third group let me just enable it here we have our load image as you can see i am using this image over here we have our Florence 2 in order to create an auto prompt based on this image. We have our resolution. It is the same resolution as we used here. This image crop is gonna change the position of the image with the Y offset, uh, with the offset on the Y axis. But of course, you can try to play with this value in order to obtain something that you like. Let me show you how it, it's gonna work. Then we have our LTX video image to video. This note is very useful in order for you to use this uh, if you want to use this image to video to do that we have our positive prompt our negative prompt and our VAE we also have our image that we're gonna implement using this video so uh, if you want to switch between image to video all you have to do is go to this clip text first click right click then convert widget to input 
convert text to input then use this string over here now it is plugged also don't forget to use this pos plug this positive into positive and this negative into negative this way uh, we have our condition set so this generate auto generated text here is gonna set as a text then it's gonna be taken into consideration using to this get text after that we have our set negative and positive it's gonna directly be uh, plugged here and all you have to do is plug the positive and the negative also i uh, don't forget to use this latent here which is the latent set for this video all you have to do is plug the latent on this simpler custom and also on this ltx video scheduler after that you can click q prompt and see your uh, image uh, be animated using this ltx group okay for the first image it didn't go up uh, very well so i try to change the, for uh, i try to change the image i chose this girl holding uh, fire and it was a very good uh, video that was created from this image as you can see the girl is moving and the fire is animated i also upscaled this uh, version and it is uh, more impressive compared to the lower resolution one so the image uh, to video works sometimes but if you uh, uh, if you are encountering an issue please make sure to bypass this image scrap by clicking ctrl and v okay now i will try to talk to you about our final group which is the most important one according to me which, and this group is a video to video group which is gonna allows us uh, to create to change a video that was created by implementing a text group a text prompt to do that let me first select a video okay that's the original video let's enable this video video group and it is as you can see it is make, uh, composed of different notes we have here our load video then this video is gonna be resized using this note it's gonna be encoded using vae encode then the latent is gonna be directly plugged into the sampler custom advanced we also have the ltx video scheduler where we can select our steps we also have the ltx flow edit sampler where we can refine the the image or skip some uh, steps in order to obtain uh, consistency and uh, i don't recommend you changing those parameters we also have a new node which is disable noise where it's gonna disable all uh, the noise uh, when it's gonna change the video and it is very precise method to, uh, to create another one as you can see here we have this woman where i asked uh, for the ai model to change the hair and the lightning of the video and to do that we have here our most important group which is the ltx flow edit cfg guider where we have our source prompt and our target prompt as you can see here we have four different clip text encode here i am using the same prompt that i used earlier to create this video and for the negative prompt you can type in everything you want and for the target prompt i use the same prompt but the main difference i changed the i changed some uh, parameters here for example here i asked for blue hair and here i asked for red tank top i also forgot to add it here but it's okay so in addition to that the lightning is a purple toned i also ask for this purple toned instead of the blue one and for the negative prompt i leave it as it is then it's gonna the ltx flow edit is gonna take into consideration the tar the source the source uh, prompt and the target prompt in order to create another uh, this video you can also uh, play with the cfg here for this ltx apply attention and you can obtain different video so it's gonna depend on what you want to change uh, on this video and it is working properly with my pc configuration so it is a very important notes but sometimes you don't uh, necessarily have the prompt for uh, your video so to do that i also prepared this image extraction and the prompt generation to use it let me first disable everything image to video scanning group okay now we have here our video so if you wanna create a prompt uh, from a video that you don't have a prompt 
you can use this uh, image extraction and prompt generation to do that make sure that everything is uh, disabled instead of this uh, prompt at the x model clip text and image extraction okay after that just use click q prompt and the, Im the resize image here is gonna create a series of images uh, that compose your video you can select every image that you want for example i wanna choose this image over here just use the right click copy clip space gonna generate your prompt this way you will have uh, this uh, a prompt uh, which is related to your video then make sure to copy its prompt plug it on the original video prompt then do the same for the target prompt after that you are free to change everything that you want so it is a very uh, it is a little trick that i found out when i was running my test uh, with this video to video notes okay that's the end of our tutorial uh, in conclusion we can say that this ltx model is a very important model if you want to create a video from images text or video it is very suitable for low vram pc configuration uh, it is very fast and also the quality is very impressive it allows you to do uh, many type of things and if we compare this to honey one video i strongly suggest you to use this ldx video instead of honey one because uh, in most of cases the honey one use a lot of vram and the quality it's practically the same with this ldx video so if you do have a big project where you're gonna need a lot of uh, video from images or from text you can go ahead and use this LTX video and don't forget to my workflow and if you like this video please push the like button for me subscribe to my channel and leave me some comments down below thank you